morning guys we're having an Italian ride and I'm riding this Moto Guzzi El Dorado and I'll tell you more about it when we get on the bikes yeah this is real simple key on right yeah hit button and rev awesome and let it warm up a little bit to turn it off, there's no kill switch, just turn Okay, key. okay. And that red, the red generator light basically means the generator is running. Oh, okay. In other words, you're charging while it's going. So it's going to be on almost all the time. Okay, thank you, Steve. The other ones, the other ones you, don't, you don't want on is your oil light. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> the, the opposite. Light okay, thank you. Oh, neutral light. Oh, okay, great. So neutral is exactly what you're sitting now. You see, like, you see, see the orange light on. Yes, I do. Yeah. It yes, I do. Start unless it's in neutral. Okay, great, great. So that's something to know. Pull in the clutch all you want to, and everything else, it won't start unless it's in neutral. Okay, perfect. And they're very strange, like you say, it's very strange gear shift pattern. So one up and four down. Four down, yeah. Yeah, so like it's similar to um, the other Brit bikes, but on the other side. Yeah, so the right. Norton and the Vincent's is yep. the same, obviously well, not as many gears. Yeah. The pack works. Oh. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Wow, <laughs> very, very, very different riding experience. How far back the handlebars are, it's unreal. Got that little side shimmy as you rev. Oh, this is really enjoyable very very comfy to ride these are massive bars I think Steve was telling me these are actually the police handlebars uh, police issue handlebars and also the police issued saddle as well so I, I can just imagine what it would have been like cruising around as a cop you're really up front you know you feel like you're sitting up tall and looking out over the bike it's just <laughs> everything's in front of you the gear shift, I feel like I'm pressing directly down 90 degrees perpendicular to where I'm sitting not like up front at all It's unusual sensation changing up to, to change up the gears to first on the left hand side You may remember guys, this is where I brought Steve's foggy Ducati Monster for a test ride along here he's right behind me and it sounds awesome doesn't it and uh, he kindly offered to let me ride this El Dorado which uh, you may remember from Oaks Park and I've seen it before a few times of course and so he said yes so here we are I've never ridden a bike like this before uh, having a great time it's really comfortable it's a very different riding experience, I must say. So it's really comfortable. It's um, very industrial-like, <laughs> as I'm sure Steve would agree. He said that himself. And uh, But it, it's really a lot of fun. The bars are way back, way back. Almost parallel. Almost alongside my body but it's great fun it's quite smooth actually you feel the vibration you know but um, generally pretty smooth so 
So yeah, I went along here a little faster on his monster. But what are we doing? 60? Yeah. Great. It's pretty early. We're going to have another high 90 degree day today. So we decided to set off early. I think it's what, just after 9am. And we're going to go up into the hills and then down to Newburgh for an early morning coffee at CC's. Uh, just, we both like CC's, Steve and I, so we're gonna head down there for a coffee, have a chat about the bike. It's great though, it's really good. I've always liked these. I think it's Ewan McGregor who has one. I saw a series of YouTube videos when he was having it restored and he had the panels redone these chrome panels I, I was hooked then I thought god that's a really nice looking bike and I know that they were used by the police forces as well so uh, that's an interesting part of it and then we had Dave as well Dave came out to the cul-de-sac during the fires the wildfires in Oregon in what a couple of years ago and that was a really nice bike as well Just gonna stop for a moment, check everything's okay. I'm sure it is. Yeah, fabulous. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was a good idea. I never thought of that. What Steve's saying is, instead of trying to get my foot under the heel toe at the front to lift it up, push down on the back one with your toe. I thought it was exclusively only available for heels. So, I'll remember that, that's a great idea. It's more like a toe heel than a heel toe. Oh, it's lovely. Tons of fun. Well, it goes around corners just fine. I'm not going at speed. Oh, I'm doing 50 miles an hour. It's nothing. They seem like they should be much bigger, the engine. Only 850cc. Ah, oh, yeah, really nice. You just take your time with the gear change, it's absolutely great. Give yourself half a second. Lovely. Perfect. All you need. I like these handlebar grips. The colour contrast. I think that's original as well. I seem to remember Dave had those on his 
when he came to the cul-de-sac. got some nice torque to it, nice pull. Pulls up here quite nicely, I think, in fifth. It's pulling just fine. Okay, we're at the summit. And we're gonna head down now. Check some different characteristics, specifically the brakes. <laughs> Don't think I pressed the brake once going up there. spun out just there you feel like you go around the corner before the bike <laughs> you're so far ahead of it it's <laughs> you're right on top of it like this it's great though bird's eye view and you can kind of lean back if you want but it's definitely a sit up and beg position You've probably seen a theme occurring, guys, with these Italian bikes and German bikes appearing on the channel a bit more. Of course, my passion is the Brit bikes, of course, but uh, it's nice to experiment with something a little... a little exotic, a little European, eh? <laughs> Especially Italian. Well, I've thoroughly enjoyed that. That was great, great fun. Oh, it's so nice to push a button. Those foggy eyes are staring at me. <laughs> that was a really enjoyable coffee break with Steve. Had a good chat, talked about this bike. Yeah, I really enjoyed that and we're just heading back now, so it, it was just a little ride out. Well, it goes really well at faster speeds, very smooth. I hope you enjoyed this video of this ride on this amazing Moto Guzzi 
Eldorado 850 from 1972. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Hope you did. I'll speak to you again next week. Okay, guys. See ya.